Hi guys, today I'm testing out the brand new um, Hourglass Ambient Soft Light Foundation. I have the shade 1. Um, that's what I am wearing right now and I'm also testing it with the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass as well. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys an update later on in the day to see how it wears. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's working well with the primer, you know, hopefully as it should. Um, I think the coverage is really good, like medium, buildable to full coverage. And yeah, this is the lightest shade. I think it, you know, definitely matches me. I'm, you know, very, very light. And yeah, I'm trying to see in the mirror. Um, you can still see like my pores, <laughs> but you know, I'm a human, I have pores, so I think that's okay. Um, and yeah, I was able to cover you know, like some acne and hyperpigmentation pretty well with just the foundation. I haven't gone on, um, gone in with any concealer or anything. So yeah, I like it so far. Um, and I do have oily skin, but it is giving like a natural like glow and like dimension as I move my face in the light. So I think it's really pretty and I like a glow either way, even though I'm oily. So yeah, I think it's working really well so far. Um, yeah, and I'm also gonna, you know, finish my makeup look and use the Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion, which is a really pretty, like, light, peachy, peachy-ish <laughs> nude shade. Um, so yeah, I will come back and check in with you later, um, about how it's worn throughout the day when I finish the rest of my makeup. But so far, first impression is pretty good. It's really pretty, and it does give a soft glow, as it says. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Hi guys, I'm checking in um, for the wear test on the new <laughs> um, Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. I'm wearing the shade 1. Um, I also used the Vanish Airbrush Primer under it, um, and it's worn beautifully. Um, I have oily skin, so, you know, it's glowy <laughs> on top of that, but I really do like it. I think it's beautiful. It looks very, like, ethereal, goddessy, glowy makeup, <laughs> um, which I always love. Um, and I also wore the Ambient Lighting Blush and Dim Infusion for my blush, along with the Wet n Wild um, Apricot in the Middle blush. So, this is the makeup look. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. I recommend. It's really pretty. But what do you guys think? I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I know that, you know, Hourglass is not, you know, the most affordable brand on the market, but I really do like it if you're in the market for a glowy um, medium to buildable full coverage um, foundation. I was about to say concealer. Um, I think that it's a really good option for you to explore or at least, you know, like go get a sample of it. Um, the shade range... Um, I guess is pretty good. Um, like I said, I got one. I'm always the lightest shade in everything. I'm very, very pale. Um, I feel like like one is, you know, a pretty good light base like you um, probably saw in the beginning of the video. Like it does look very, very light, you know, when you first put it on. And then obviously I did the whole rest of my makeup, which, you know, blends it in a whole lot better. So I think I'm happy. With shade one and yeah it's really nice and then just other little details it's a glass bottle comes with a pump I used probably like three pumps to cover my face though um, I used a wet and wild um, sponge from the Care Bears collection I think maybe that soaked up some of the product um, I'm not sure I should wash my <laughs> foundation brushes and um, see how it applies with a brush. I might like that better, but I really liked it in um, in collaboration. <laughs> um, um, I will say in partnership. Um, I liked using the Vanish Airbrush Primer as well with it. So, 
I think it all looks really good and the um, Dim Infusion blush gave me like a lot of color um, more than it looks like it would in the pan um, and then like I said I also layered the Wet n Wild blush on top but just this gave me like a whole lot of color that was really pretty um, and yeah I guess that's about it um, on my eyes I used the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette the first one um, like the you know just neutral brownie nude colors and for my brows I use the Anastasia Brow Liz and the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer and for my lips I use the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liner um, the darkest shade in that lip kit and I also use the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara and the Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner in Burgundy as a little winged burgundy liner and yeah that's my makeup um thank you so much for watching and sticking with me i hope you have a great day bye